Hello and welcome to Study Money. Our topic for today is emergency fund. So, sino ba sa atin lahat dito ang merong emergency fund? Maaring kayo, meron, maaring wala. So, what's an emergency fund? Basically, um, I googled it and emergency fund is a fund for unexpected events. So, let me share with you, ano. I had this incident two months ago na I had to rush my wife to the hospital because of very high fever. So, for just less than five hours in the hospital, yung bill namin, almost 15,000. And, you know, I'm very thankful that we have this so-called emergency fund. And so, let's explore more about what an emergency fund really is. So, first of all, let's talk about the different types of emergencies. There's medical emergencies, there is car repair, there are home repairs, there are unexpected travels, and hopefully, you know, God forbid, job loss. So, medical emergencies are pretty common. Um, may nagkakasakit, merong nababalian, uh, and many other things. Now, car repair, I think that if you own a vehicle, um, don't act surprised that, you know, one day, pwedeng madiskarga yung baterya mo as you drive along, pwedeng maflat yung gulong mo, and you find out na pati yung spare tire mo, butas. Um, just a few months ago, we had our AC repaired and it cost us siguro more or less 5,000 pesos. And so, home repairs naman, obviously, ano, regardless if you're renting or if you own your own home, there will always be home repairs, such as a leaking faucet, pwede rin uh, broken appliances, um, and many other things. Ngayon, unexpected travel. So, let's just say that you had to go to a certain place, maybe province, or maybe out of the country for some reason, maybe a uh, family reunion or uh, a death in the family so anything that can cause any unexpected travel can count um now job loss siguro ito yung pinakamabigat sa lahat ano um and i hope that this does not happen to anyone but it does happen. It's a reality of life. Pwede mawalan ka ng trabaho bukas, mamaya. We don't know. So, there's always this certain degree of instability, regardless how stable the company is. Now, bakit ba natin kailangan ng emergency fund? Simple lang naman, ano? Um, it can give you the peace of mind that you need kung sakaling mangyari itong mga bagay na to, Hindi ka nagpapanik, hindi ka nasistress. You know, it gives you less stress and less anxiety as you go on through, you know, your days, your daily life. And actually, Based on certain researches and studies, people that have emergency funds perform better at their jobs. Kasi nga, they have less stress. They have less anxiety. 
So how much money should I start with? Um, well, you know, there's a lot of information online. Dito lang sa YouTube, sobrang dami na. And you can easily get lost. So, where do you start? Now, you'll actually need a plan. And first thing is to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Study Money. So, it's all about mastering your finances, building wealth, and achieve financial successes. Now, once you've done that, the first principle that you will learn is to pay yourself first. Now, ang nilagay ko dito is pay 10% to yourself first. It's better to have a target than to have no target at all. Ang dami nagsasabi na mag-start yung 5%, mag-start yung 3%, whatever. I suggest start at 10%. Ano ba naman yung 10%? Kung kumikita ka ng 10,000, edi 10,000 sa isang buwan. Kung kumikita ka ng 30,000, 3,000 a month. Two paydays in a month. So, kung 30,000 ang sweldo mo, 1,500. Sa so first payday, second payday, another 1,500. And there you go. You fulfilled your responsibility to yourself of paying yourself 10% first. Now, ang target dito, no, is 30,000 as fast as you can. Why do I put save 30,000 as fast as you can? Um, obviously, I've been listening and, you know, learning about the baby steps of Dave Ramsey. And ang sinasabi niya doon palagi is to save $1,000 as fast as you can. Ngayon, um, siguro iba yung setting sa US compared dito sa Pilipinas. And so, what I urge everybody is to save 30,000 pesos as fast as you can. So, kung may commission ka, may bonus ka, may 13th month pay ka, 14th month, 15th month, Whatever, lagay mo dyan. Buhus mo dyan. Hindi mo kailangang bilangin yung mga buwan, kung gaano mo siya kabilis makukuha. But, work on it and be deliberate. Now, another thing is, open an account with a, of course, trustworthy bank. And there are banks out there that give additional perks like give you life insurance and there's also a bank there that gives you high interest. Pwedeng, meron nga actually yung, um, I don't wanna name drop, pero it gives uh, 4% interest. So, malaki yun. Ultimately, the goal is to have 6 months to one year of living expenses. So, the only way to know this is if you have a budget in place. Um, we have a video about budgeting and um, we'll discuss it more thoroughly. So, I don't know, once you get to the 30,000, consistently put and put and put and put until you reach six months so that's your second milestone and then your next milestone is one year worth of living expenses so stay disciplined persevere and eventually we will teach you uh, we actually have a video about how to manage your emergency fund and help it grow so for questions about this topic and if you like that topic you know comment down below if you like this video share it to your friends and we'll see you in our next video